Situated at the foothills of the Himalayan region, Northeast India can be developed into a tourist spot for all kinds of tourism. This region is surrounded by hill ranges and several swift and slow flowing rivers owing to its location at the foothills of the Himalayas. The unique geographical diversity has therefore attracted nature and adventure tourism as well. Flowing through the heart of Assam, the Brahmaputra bears witness to the thousand-year-old history of Assam. Several temples constructed in the Brahmaputra Valley in the ancient times bears testimony to the glorious early history of Assam. The Peacock Island, as the name suggests, gets its name from the fact that it looks like a peacock with open feathers from a distance. This sacred island Omananda is mentioned as Posma Sol or Posma Hoila in Kalika Purana and Yogini Tantra. The Omananda temple was built in 1694 in this sacred island of same name during the reign of Ahom King Godadhar Hingha. Seen from Kosari Ghat at Guwahati, this island is situated in the very midst of the mighty Brahmaputra. It is believed that Lord Shiva turned Kamdev into ashes for disturbing him in his prayers. According to another belief, Lord Shiva resides in this island to provide Ananda, that is, happiness to Uma, his wife, and hence the island is named Umananda. Since early times, this sacred island has been an attraction for pilgrims. Today, the presence of the rare species of golden langur is an attraction for both local and foreign tourists. Journey to this island through the flowing waters of the Brahmaputra is full of romance and thrill. Hondiasol Hills, situated 12 kilometers from Guwahati, is surrounded by the three streams, namely Hondia, Lolita, and Kanta. Bohisto Ashram, the hermitage of Sage Bohisto, is located in this enchanting hill of Hondhyasol. Chronicles of this enchanting hermitage include numerous legends, folklore, and tales from the Puranas. It is a center of attraction for pilgrims and tourists alike. Kamakya is regarded as the holiest of all the sacred places in India. The temple of Goddess Kamikha, famous all over India, is situated in the Nilasol Hills and Guwahati. The Kalika Purana, Yogini Tantra and the Puranas abound in various stories and legends with regard to the origin of the Kamikha temple. The beauty of the tea gardens, scattered all over Assam, appeals to the eye. The scenic beauty of the rows of tea plants in the gardens of Assam is fascinating, while the taste of Assam tea is appealing to the palate. And these put together might attract tourists to Assam.
The Kajiranga National Park, famous in the world for its one-horned rhino, is situated by the 37 National Highway, 217 kilometers east from Guwahati. Efficient supervision has led to the rise in population of the one horn rhino, which now stands at an approximate number of 2,000. Tourists from all over the world visit the park to see the one horn rhino, one of the oldest living species of mammals. Elephant rides and vehicles are provided to the tourists for tour inside the park. To see the rhino from close quarters while riding an elephant through the veil of mist in a wintry morning is a lifetime experience. Besides the boisterous movement of other birds and animals and their panic at the presence of others thrills the tourists. Witnessing the herds of deer wandering in the park also provides a unique experience to the tourists. The park is open for tourists in the month of November every year with the onset of winter. Home to the one horn rhino, the park also shelters the wild elephants. This vast expanse of about 860 square kilometers is shelter not only to the one horn rhino but also to several other rare species. The vastness and biodiversity therein is awe-inspiring, which provides the tourists with a great sense of pleasure. Taking time away from the mechanical life and polluted environment and spending time in the vicinity of the park, in the serene and tranquil atmosphere, the tourists gain a unique sense of satisfaction. Touring the park, one would realize that this vast expanse of land is nature's unique gift to the one horn rhino. Besides, the park is also home to various other species such as the deer, hog, wild buffaloes, tiger, bear, different types of monkeys and colorful birds. The diverse fauna of a forest determines the diversity of flora within it. Kajiranga National Park is rich in plant diversity too. Some plants require special temperature and environment for their flourishing growth. The presence of various kinds of orchids adds to the beauty of the park and is a delight to the tourist's eye. Folklores around the world regard the orchids as divine flowers.
the hulog gibbons and cat langoos are also an asset to the park's wealth. It is one of the best tourist spots for the foreign tourists. The park has stars which provide a view of the place and its inhabitants from a safe distance and height. Almost 5.58% of its total landmass is covered by water bodies and swamps due to which it provides a suitable home for the fish-eating animals and birds. More than 400 migratory birds flock to the park during the winter. The national park is also home to several rare species of amphibians. Keeping in mind the biodiversity of the park and successful conservation of flora and fauna, the UNESCO had declared it a World Heritage Site in 1985. It is not only the park's rich biodiversity that attracts tourists from all over the world, but also the well-arranged and efficient food and lodging facilities provided therein, which has turned it into an attractive tourist spot for the foreign tourists. This is a matter of pride for the people of Assam. The one-horned rhino is Kajiranga's flagship animal. An excellent natural habitat for the one-horned rhino, Kajiranga National Park also provides parallel conservation to various rare species of flora and fauna. The park is the habitat of rare bird species such as the pelican among others. On average, 
more than 50,000 tourists, local and foreign, visit the park annually. As a result, Kajiranga National Park is considered as one of the major hotspots for wildlife tourism. The preservation of a forest cover not only ensures safety to the flora and fauna but also develops immensely the potential for wildlife tourism. The natural beauty of Assam may lure the nature lovers to this place for tourism. The Manas National Park in Barpeta district is situated about 176 kilometers away from Guwahati and is only 40 kilometers away from Barpeta Road. It is the only habitat for peacocks in Assam. It is another habitat for the one horned rhino. With its enchanting natural beauty, the Manas National Park has a biodiversity that is unique to it. The boisterous hilly river Manas that flows through the park adds to its scenic beauty. The tourists can enjoy the natural beauty of the park on a boat ride across this river.
There is also provision for elephant ride in the park. The park also provides good food and lodging facilities to the tourists. Famed for its tigers, the park also has many rare species of animals and birds. Golden langur, pygmy hog, wild buffalo, hornbill and Bengal florican etc. are some of the species that add to the wealth and beauty of the park. Another spot for wildlife tourism in Assam is the Urang National Park which is only 150 kilometers away from Guwahati and has an easy access to it. It is only 31 kilometers away from Tejpur. The park is also known for its one horn rhino. Besides, Assam has two more national parks, numerous sanctuaries and reserved forests. It is not enough that we bank on Kajiranga only for wildlife tourism. Assam's unparalleled natural beauty need to be extensively publicized to attract the local and foreign tourists to this region. For this, it must be ensured that the tourists are provided with all necessary facilities. The tourism department of the government of Assam has provided many facilities in this regard. Even in the private sector, Extensive publicity of Assam's rare bounty may help in the large-scale development of the tourism industry. Situated 369 kilometers east of Guwahati is Sipsagar, the ancient capital of the Ahom Kingdom. During the 600 years of reign, the Ahom kings constructed numerous memorials in and around Sipsagar. The presence of several Ahom monuments at Sipsagar has made it into a significant tourist spot. Situated right at the heart of the city is a very significant monument, the Hibodol. Constructed in 1794 by Queen Ombika, the wife of the Ahom Sorgodeo, Hibo Hingho. Numerous devotees of Lord Shiva come to this temple to light lamps and offer their prayers every day. Historical records state that the Ahom kings had constructed more than 50 doles in Sipsagar only. Moreover, they also dug more than 300 ponds of various sizes in this area. Sipsagar can be properly developed into a site for heritage tourism and pilgrimage with proper emphasis on the ancient architecture of the Ahoms reflected in the monuments constructed by them. Ronghor, Karinghor and Tolatolghor are examples of architectural edifice that reflect a unique Assamese culture of the Ahom period. The Ronghor, built during 1696 to 1714 under the Ahom King Rudrohingho, is acclaimed as the first amphitheater of the Asian continent. Mm -hmm. 
The tradition of celebrating Rongali Bihu in the open fields of Ronghor through a showcasing of culture, including music and dance performances of all tribes of Assam, continues even today since the days of the Ahom kings. Such a display of tradition and cultural heritage seems to be rare in the whole world. Assam's tourism sector may be developed by taking into account its multicolored cultural heritage. <laughs>